Guys, this is Palmy Pro Box Respect TKO. I'm at Peacock's Gym in London with young light heavyweight professional Charlie Duffield. Charlie, morning, how are you, mate? You right? Morning, I'm good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, very good, mate. Very good. Yeah. Just been here with uh, Jimmy as well, um, and uh, it's nice to have a chat with you, catch up. So, what's the what's the plan for this morning, Charlie? Uh, I'm training with a legend. Yeah, uh, Jimmy he's Jimmy a legend. Martin, he is <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no two ways about that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm training with him today. Um, Mark's, I think, at press with Dillian and that. True. Um, Jimmy, so we, we, I'm in great hands, you know what I mean? I've got Jimmy doing my session. Um, I've done pads and that with him the other day. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better, really. I, I just said to him, because uh, I've heard many, uh, many different stories about he's retiring, he's not retiring. I think officially he's retired, isn't he, as a trainer, but he's still doing cuts, because he, <laughs> he was in Groves' corner last weekend. Yeah, he's, um, he's definitely, retired from training people and stuff like that unless there was like a world champion yeah. at a high level come to him maybe he might change his mind but um might swear him well last but, uh, one was billy joe wasn't it yeah was... yeah definitely billy joe great fire great fighter, um, yeah yeah so he's definitely retired but he's still doing cuts and he still um does our corners like mark's boys corners and that so that's great to have yeah like him in the corner, the knowledge he knows, and can't buy that experience oh, at all. You, definitely not. You know, no. since what 1981, so I don't know, that's like 30 years yeah. of experience. Massive, it's massive for us boys, especially us youngsters yeah. trying to climb the ladder and stuff like that. It's, um, yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got it good in the corner, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Charlie, um, how old were you when you got into boxing, mate? Um, I got into boxing when I was, I, f I think I was just under 11 because I, I had one gym show, because yeah. you couldn't. You couldn't fight until you was 11, so I think, I'd, I think I was about a few months away. So I had one gym show, yeah, so just under 11. But, and um, and you're, you're from local t uh, Canning Town, around the corner? Yeah, literally. Probably fair to say boxing's in your blood as well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ball and bread, literally, around the corner. I could walk it in two minutes. But, uh, yeah, excellent. Um, obviously, we're at Peacocks. There's always um, a number of uh, high-profile fighters walking in. Very humble gym. Do you get to, um, I know Anthony, because I met Anthony Yard here as well. Do you get to have a little bit of sparring with people like Anthony or the other guys? Or? I ain't sparred Anthony Yardy. I think he trains different times. I think he's more sure. of a afternoonish, evening times. He yes. trains. I'm there, I don't see him much in here, here and there I do. Nice boy. Um, yeah, beast, isn't he? Yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big lump. Uh, but um, I've sparred, yeah, I've sparred a lot of the, I've sparred a few of the crews and waves and stuff. And then there's always, like I say, the gym's, packed it's always you come in and there's could be 10 people you could spy yeah, like, of, course. of course yeah, um, I, before I come on to your career actually but while we're on to Yardi um, nice guy as you say another good friend of mine Frank Buglioni looks like that could be a clash that could uh, it's nicely brewing up um, I don't want to put you on the spot how do you think that potentially could go um, it's a good fight though isn't it it is a great fight it's a, definitely a great fight for British boxing that's for sure 100%. Um, do you know what? For me, I, d I don't even know. Bugaloni's got an engine. He's yeah. got a really good engine, good chin. He, he, he's a good all-round fighter. Yardy's a big puncher. Yeah. I, re I just don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I d I and Frank's been in with some big Frank's names. Frank's been in well. with a lot of bigger names than yes. Yardy. But um, so I don't think Yardy's been tested to his proper potential yet. But. Yeah. Um, Truth to be, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a great fight. It's British a great fan, domestic definitely, fight. Definitely, yeah. But even like, there's, like, there's loads of, like, Jose Burton's another one. Yeah, who yeah. Still, I know he lost to Bugaloni, but um, he's still up there, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's a few, there's yeah. a few out there. People don't realise, obviously, that even, you know, we're throwing you in the mix. I know you're 4-1 you're and one as a professional, but the light heavyweight scene is quite, quite, um, you know, oh, sort of stacked massive, even yeah. even domestically, isn't it? Yeah, massive. I mean, there's loads, yeah. and I mean, like loads of good lightweight fighters. So the the lightweight division is yeah, it's great in a minute. Yeah. So your form one is a professional. Um, your last fight was eight months ago. Um, now, in that fight, mate, you took your loss uh, as a man, but. Leading up to the fight, I believe you did come through some personal adversity as well. Yeah, um, definitely. And that must have been a testing time for you, right, Charlie? Oh, it was a massive, a big test and a big learning curve for me because um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a sore loser. I don't like losing. And, uh, yeah. To, for me to lose in that way as well, like from a bad cut, and it was a bad cut. It was really bad, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it just wasn't me. And everyone that knows me, it just wasn't me in that ring. And I shouldn't have been in the ring. Maybe I shouldn't have even been going as far as been training at the time 
what I was going through. But like I say, I'm a. Uh, I've moved on. I'm with Mark Tibbs now. I'm in great hands. Jimmy, Absolutely. Like, I've got a great team, so uh, I'm looking to climb the ladders now and uh, prove, prove to myself what I can do in the light of weights. Good. Um, we won't talk about too much about the personal situation, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear, mate, you're, you're using it as a positive oh, motivation definitely. as well. Um, so what's the difference from last year to now, in, even in terms of training? I mean, we all know Jimmy <coughs> the legend, we know Mark. What's, what's been the big factor for you uh, in terms of swapping trainers? Um, I swapped, yeah, when I first come to Mark, mm. it was like, obviously, I knew Mark from years ago, from even from when he was training Frank Bugaloni and stuff, yeah. so I've known him for years, mm. but when I first, obviously, to take, to move different camps is a whole diff, new different thing, Yeah, it was like you got to adapt to it and stuff like that, but um, yeah, now I've done that, and uh, I'm just learning new things every day with Mark, and he just picks up, Mark's the sort of person that, He's like your dad, really. Like at Jimmy <laughs> as well. He's like you. He'll pick up on the smallest things that even I won't even know I've done. Yeah. He'll be like, right, don't do that. Do it this way. Do it. But yeah, just uh, I, like I say, I'm 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 blessed to be in with a with, with the Tibbsies. Definitely. And camp. there's no grey areas because they'll tell you direct yeah, as it is exactly. as well. They'll pick yeah. up the little things and yeah. and tell you how it is. Um, fair to say, mate, in, in your four wins as well, you've got a 100% KO, so definitely you can dig yourself as well. Is that, yeah. is that something that just comes naturally to, to you or, you know, uh, is it something that you sort of work on as well on the punch power? And... No, to be fair, it's natural to me because I don't really have to work on power. Right. I, I, don't, I don't really lift weights and stuff. I'm just... I'm just a naturally strong boy, but yeah. um, so now I'm just working on different things like move more movement, more blocks, more. Do you know what I mean? Defense and stuff like that. So, which I should have been learning them as a kid. Yeah. And there you go. I'm learning them as an adult. But uh, well, Jimmy, Jimmy just said he said I'm at his age. W w he looks great. He said I'm still learning. So there you go. Exactly. That's from him. I, I don't. I personally believe you never stop learning. True. Even the world champions, the best of the best. They're still learning. Absolutely. Like the, all the great fighters, GGG, Lomachenko, even Lomachenko, the, the geezers, they call him the Matrix. That, that says yeah. it all. Yeah. It's true. He's, he's unbelievable. But he's probably in his head thinking, right, I've still got to learn this. So, I don't, yeah, I don't think until you die, I don't think you, you never stop learning. Good. Um, now, you've got a fight next Friday, is it? Yeah. Next Friday. How much do you know about your opponent, Charlie? I don't know much about him. I know he's had, I think his record was 20 fights, 1 8. I think lost 10, drew 2. He's only been stopped, I think, three times. So he's been round with some, he's been in some half decent opponents, so he's been round. So, um, yeah, and he comes to have a go. So it's a six round fight. Isn't six it? rounder, yeah. Yeah, cool. So it suits me down to the ground, really. Do you know what I mean? It's going to. So what, what's your, um, I don't, you know, obviously not going to go into your tactics, but what sort of fight do you think you, it's going to end up? Um, do you think it'll be a Well, he comes forward, forward as well, and I'm normally a, more of a forward fighter than defence, but, sure. um, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see <laughs> if he's walking onto my shots. If you can hold them, good luck to him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or it could be good night. Yeah, so, either way. But listen, but, you're, you're definitely looking in uh, good, good, good form, so, yeah, um, yeah. you know, hopefully everything goes well. Um, Charlie, what, for, let's say uh, the next 12 months, in your mind, how does the next 12 months look for you and the, uh, the training team? Um, yeah, I, the next 12 months, as long as I get out, I, I need to be out more regular. I, I, didn't fight, I, think, I think it might even be when I fight, nine months, I think, yeah. since I fought. So that's a long time out. It's like, yeah, stop starting, stop starting. You, you, do you know what I mean? It's like... I just want to get on with yeah, it, Yeah, I just, want to, I, want, I just want to be active and stuff like that. But, um, Hopefully, at the end of the year, I can try and pick up a belt, like a southern area or something like that. So, nice. so I get a couple of six rounds, eight rounds in, not too far apart, and then I don't want to be waiting forever. I just, like I say, I'm 30 now, so. Uh, I think, is that. Um, I know Yardi had that. that he, he doesn't have the southern anymore, does he? I think he's got the two WB, got, yeah, the WBO European, European, European titles yeah. now, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I don't know who actually has got that now, to be I fair. I don't actually, I don't know. I know. But that's something that's yeah. obviously clearly on your radar, mate. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Um, Charlie, uh, I know Jimmy's waiting outside. So before we leave, is there anybody you want to shout out to, give any thanks to, bud? Yeah, I just want to say um, uh, thanks to my sponsors, TLM, uh, Clearway and Lords uh, State Agents. They're like without, without them sponsors, us youngsters, it's, it won't be possible. It's tough, you know isn't I mean? it? The, yeah. the training... 
what it costs you to travel, everything. So it's it's massive to them. Do you know what I mean? And all my all my uh, fans that come and watch me, family and friends, it's massive to them. And yeah. uh, Tibbs Boxing, I can't <laughs> can't thank them enough for for Mark and that and Jimmy and that what they do for us. So uh, yeah, like it's massive. Yeah, guys, come come out and watch this great guy on his comeback. Uh, next Friday, your call. Got to be yeah. entertaining. Don't Unless, know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be an entertaining fight. Charlie, thank you for your time today. Thanks mate. a lot. I wish you all the best for next Friday. Cheers, mate. See Thanks you soon, mate. Take, Take care. care.